So you wanna know how to get a sugar mama? Well, stick around and in today's video, I'm gonna give you five tips on how to get one. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna give you five tips on how to get a sugar mama. So as a former and reformed sugar mama, I thought that I would be one of the best people to give advice on how to get a sugar mama. Well, as you guys know, there's a big difference between a sugar mama and a cougar. However, there are times where a cougar is also a sugar mama or a sugar mama is also a cougar. So let's get to it. My first tip is it doesn't matter what dating app you go on, whether it's Tinder, Bumble, Zoosk, Facebook dating, Hinge, it doesn't matter. You can meet sugar mamas anywhere. You can meet them on a dating app or you can meet them in person. But eventually, you're going to have to meet them in person and actually go out on a date. And I mean, actually go out on a date and have a relationship with them. So you're gonna have to meet her in person. There's gonna have to be some chemistry and you guys are gonna have to hit it off and build a connection. Tip number two is you're gonna have to get her dictified and emotionally attached to you. Yes, it's gonna take some work. I mean, she's not gonna just dole out money to some random guy she has no connection with. So the sex is gonna have to be off the charts and you're gonna have to be really good at it and you're gonna have to make it like your full-time job. So you're gonna have to be dedicated to her. You're gonna have to treat her like she's the only woman in the world or the most important woman in the world to you. And that means like I said before, the sex has to be off the charts, but you are, you're also gonna have to get her emotionally attached to you. And then you say, well, how do, you, how do I do that? Well, you build a connection with her. You know, get to know her as a person, like genuinely wanna get to know her as a person. Do things with her, find out what her likes and dislikes are, and you do those things with her. And then you share your life with her and you say, you know, like if she doesn't like to hike, but you do say, hey, I wanna take you on a hike because that's one of my favorite things to do. Or I wanna take you camping because that's one of my favorite things to do. Or I wanna take you fly fishing, whatever. And so you sort of meld your life in with hers. And you can't be seeing her like on a Tuesday and a Thursday and leave your weekends available for whatever the hell you wanna do. Like literally, you are you have to be actually dating her Tip number three is don't like outright ask her for money or don't outright say, hey, I want this. I want a new laptop or I want to level up my wardrobe. Can you help me out? Because, well, that just makes you sound desperate and kind of like a beta male. So you're, you don't want to do that. Sugar mamas genuinely want to spoil their men. And so if we know that we're more successful than you, and most of the time we are, if you're dating an older woman, we know that you're not at, in the same, like at the same stage in life as we are. So we know that our careers are probably higher paying than yours, or you just don't bring home as much money as, as we do. And we're just gonna naturally uh, wanna spoil you. So, you know, you could just say stuff like, man, you know, I, I really wanna level up my wardrobe, so I'm gonna like save up some cash and dress better or like, damn, man, you know, my computer sucks or my laptop sucks. You don't have to say, I wish I had a new laptop. You just say, hey, my laptop sucks. And it's just gonna put that in her head like, oh, you know what, maybe I should get him a new laptop. So just take it from me, just don't ask. It will come naturally to her to wanna spoil you. So just don't ask, just let her spoil you on her own. Tip number four is pay for something some of the time. I'm not saying you have to pay for stuff half of the time, but pay for like something. And I'll give you an example. So the first young guy I ever dated, I was a total sugar mama. I paid for every single date, every single concert, every single alcoholic beverage he consumed, every single meal that he consumed while we were out. And guess what? He, he was an engineer, Texas A&M graduate. He made pretty decent money. Do you think he offered to pay like at least once? No, no he didn't. So I only dated him for about four months and then I grew to be resentful. And I thought, wow, this guy's just using me. Now, granted, I was totally dictified because 
he had a nine inch penis and he was really good at sex, but even that wasn't good enough to get me to stay there and keep blowing money on him left and right. Now, the second guy I dated, he was definitely not as, as well off as I was. I mean, he was a line cook, but guess what? I bought him a car. Yeah. And then I leveled up his clothes. You know, I bought him new clothes. I took him on vacations. I did all sorts of stuff for him. And why did I do that for a year and a half? Is because there were times where he's like, well, like where we would go out to eat or we would go to a bar and he'd say, hey babe, I just got paid today. Let me pick up the tab. So, so I knew like, although he was appreciative that, you know, I paid a lot for him. I, I did a lot of things for him. I was appreciative that, you know, he would pay every once in a while. Did he pay half the time? No, hell no. He probably paid only 20% of the time, but that was just enough for me to know like, hey, you know, like he's willing to do his part when he can afford it. So tip number five is don't ask for a sugar mama because we're just gonna laugh in your face. Because why? Well, why would we want it and just knowingly be a sugar mama? Okay, that's not like a business transaction where you say, hey, I'm looking for a sugar mama. And then I say, oh yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Like, why would I need to do that? Uh, contrary to popular belief or contrary to any belief, cougars and sugar mamas actually don't chase men. Men chase us. So when I get a message from somebody, some rando stranger that says, hey, I'm looking for a sugar mama, I just laugh my ass off because there's men around the corner whom I can date and have sex with and it's just not gonna cost me a dime. Now, if I wanna spoil that man, then that's my choice. But just downright asking somebody, like, I want you to be my sugar mama, you're gonna get laughed at in the face. So don't ask for a woman to be your sugar mama because that's just not how it works. Now there's a famous sugar mama here in San Antonio. I mean, like she's a millionaire and she's dating, I think she's like in her mid forties and she's dating a very young 20 something year old guy. And I guarantee you that she did not go on any kind of dating app or advertise that she was a sugar mama and never said like, I'm a sugar mama, I'm taking interviews for somebody to spoil. Uh, she, I guarantee you that she didn't do that. She either met this guy on a dating app or she met him in person, started dating him, and then has literally spoiled him, like, you know, taking him on exotic vacations, private jets, you name it. So those are my five tips on how to get a sugar mama. And if you have any questions or if you have any personal experiences, just leave them in the comment section below. And as you guys know, I read every comment. And until next time, happy hunting.